Looking to speed up your workflow with an easy technique? In the next three minutes in this week's Editor X tutorial, I'm going to explain what masters are, why and when to use them, and provide a live demo on how to create and edit your first master section. All this now. Masters are sections of a page that you can design once and then reuse again on other parts of your page or other pages on your site in the future. Do you already use masters in your projects? If you do, go ahead and let me know in the comments and also let me know what you like or dislike about them. And if you're enjoying this, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Let's go over when and how to use masters. You can tell if a section is a master by the green highlight color versus the normal blue one when selected. Masters can be used for any section on your site. A common use of masters would be for headers, footers, and CTA sections within your site's pages. You may also notice that masters come with their own breakpoints that differ from those of the page's native breakpoints, which is pretty powerful as this flexibility will ensure that your master's layout will remain cohesive in every breakpoint throughout your site. Let's go over how to create your first master section. Let's go ahead and make this section a master by selecting it, right-clicking it, hovering over set as master, and then select section. Now that this is a master section, we can easily add it to any page on our site. We can select the section, hit the more options button, click on show on, and then select any individual page we'd like, all the pages, or just leave it on the home page. Now this section can be added to any page on your site, and we can easily rearrange its location on the page by right-clicking on the section and selecting move up or down. If we want to make changes to this section only, we can right click it and select detach from masters. And there you have it. Now you can speed up your workflow by utilizing the powerful flexibility of masters on your next Editor X project. To see other Wix tutorials, please be sure to leave a comment below letting me know. If not, let me know what you'd like to see next. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos around this topic or other web design tools, concepts, and strategies, then please subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified as soon as my next video is released. My name is Rich, and thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I look forward to seeing you next time.